Hi, welcome to Create Love Arts. My name is Sharon, and today we are learning the shell stitch. The, the shell stitch is basically a grouping of double crochets together, and they nestle into one another as you go along the rows. The multiple count for this would be uh, you would chain six plus two. So with that being a multiple, I have chained 18, which is six plus six plus six, and then two more. That's my turning chain. So after you're done, you can, you can chain as many as you like as long as they're in multiples of six. And then you add two at the end when you're done chaining. And that's going to be your turn. So the very first thing you do, I always flip mine over to work on the back bump of the chain. But you can do it in the front if you choose. There is a bump on the back. That's what I'm going to work in. I'm going to skip the first one and go right into the second bump. Okay. Let me make sure I'm, yep, I'm going into the second bump here. And I'm going to make a single crochet here, okay? This is a pretty easy repeat pattern, but you do need to make sure that you're doing it in the correct order. So from the second chain from the hook, I have placed a single crochet in that one. I'm going to skip the next two, one, two, and work into the third one from that single crochet. And I'm gonna make five double crochets right in that same space. So skip one, two, and in the third, I'm gonna make five double crochets. Ready? There's one. Right in the same space that I made that first one. Two. Three. four, and five. Now these seem a little tight together and you will notice that the next stitch next to it will pull up real tight next to it. Don't forget to look there when you're done. But that's your first shell right there. Now you're gonna skip two again, remembering to look right here because it does pull this one up. That's one, two, I'm going to skip those, and then do another single crochet in the third. Right there. Now don't worry if it starts getting all bumpy and weird right here. Working into the chain is always a little bumpy and weird. If you prefer, one of the things that I have found is you can make a row of single crochet for any of these stitches usually. Not all, but for most of them. This one in particular you can. Make a row, your first row, single crochet. Just keep the same count. And then on your turning row, you can start this multiple uh, in this pattern. So I've done my single crochet. Now I'm going to skip two again. One, two, and do five in the third bump. That's it. So five doubles here. One two, three, four, and five. And again, because it pulls that particular space real tight, just give it a little, just give it a little tug right here so that you can see that's, that is a stitch right here. It got tightened up next to the five being put in that one space. So just remember, don't let that one trick you. You skip that one and the next one and single crochet into the third one from that last five DCs. Again, see it leaves a nice, uh, it leaves some, some bumps here, but you can also see the singles in between each one and it gives it a little definition. So I've got my single. I'm going to skip two. One, two, and then do five in this. So it's five DCs in the same space, skip two, single crochet, then skip two more, and five in the next. There's two, three, whoops, three, four, and five. And see how I'm just letting the yarn, the pattern move along with me? It's just, it makes your life easier if you do. Okay, now remember, 
that one pulled really tight so we're gonna skip that one and the next one and your last stitch on that first row will be a single crochet in that last hole okay no matter what your count is that should be your very last one um, all right so I have three uh, shells here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our work now that is just your first foundation row the next two rows that we do will be a repeat and you repeat row two and row three in that order over and over and over again to finish this okay so that was our foundation row now we're going to go on to the actual rows of repeats so row two says to chain three one two three and then in that very first stitch here which was your single crochet from the row below you're gonna make two double crochets there okay this is your edge stitch they break it it to make it sit in here properly okay it'll sit along this right along here now you're gonna skip two one two and if you look at your five you're always going to go in the middle of the five, okay, to do your single crochet. So skip this one, skip this one. There's your third of the five. That's going to be the middle and do a single crochet there. Now again, you're going to skip two, one, two, and your double crochets should all fall into a single from the row below. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now again, the same pattern, skip two into that middle of the five. See, there's five stitches there. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip those two and go into that middle one, the third one of the single or for, of the five DCs below and do a single. And then you're going to skip two and go right down in that single crochet and do the next five for your shell. And you're going to do this all the way across row two. Now row three is a little different, but it's the two these two rows make up the entire pattern once you've got that foundation row done. And you just repeat them over and over. So row two, we've got our one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip one, two, and go into that third one and make a single. Now I'm at the end. Of course, your work is probably gonna be a longer if you're doing a bigger project. But when you get to the end, no matter what size you're making in the width, you're still going to skip two. On the second row, you're going to double crochet three times, just like we did at the beginning here. That chain three counted as a double crochet here. So we've got one, two, three. We're going to do the same thing on the end. Usually in crochet, whatever you do on one end, you do on the other. It just makes it look more, uh, you know standard more symmetrical I suppose you'd say All right. so there's row two and then you're gonna turn your work flip it round now on row three you're going to chain one this chain one does not count as a stitch on this row because you're going to make a single crochet right in that first double below. A single crochet right there. Or the last double below, not the first. Okay? And again, we're going to follow our pattern. You're going to skip two. One, two. And then, again, you can see that that is the single crochet from the row below. You're gonna do five doubles in that single crochet. Five doubles right in there. I twisted my work. I twisted it all up, didn't I? 
Okay, here I am. All right, so there's my single crochet. See, we all make mistakes. It happens to me constantly. <laughs> all right, so there's my one, two, three doubles here. I'm going to go into that single crochet with five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to skip two again, and remember when you're working on, you single crochet into the doubles and you double crochet into the singles. So if you remembered your stitch anatomy of these, you should be good to go. So one, two, we're going to skip, go into that third double crochet from the row below and make a single. Then again, skipping those two doubles, go into that single and make five. And that is it. You're going to do this over and over and over again. The biggest thing you have to keep track of is how many you're doing in each one. You get going and sometimes you do four and keep going and it'll look right for a second. And then when you put it down, you're like, oh no, I only did four there and you got to go back. Uh, it doesn't always show up real, real well, but sometimes it's pretty obvious. So you make sure you do your five doubles in there, skip two stitches, go into that third and make your single, skip two, and go into the single and make your five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now here is where we have one, two, three left, okay? And you should be ending on a single crochet on this row as well. So still, you're going to skip two. You're going to skip that one and that one. Now this is our turning chain, but it did count as a double crochet on the row below, which means we need to use this chain three to place our next stitch. So we go we look for the third loop. We have one here, two, and three. It should be right up next to this hole from the that stitch. And you're gonna go straight into that and make your single crochet, okay? And that's it. That is the shell stitch. Um, these are all nestled together real close and make a really great scarf. Uh, they are a little bit of a yarn eater, which means they use quite a bit of yarn sometimes when you want to do it like this. So a lot of people will do these in between other uh, multiple stitch patterns to just give it a little bit of, you know, flair. But you can literally do an entire blanket like this if you wanted to. And see, as you go along, those little holes, they'll they kind of go away a little bit and you want a little breathability in them anyway. So that's it. Now you're just going to turn your work and repeat row two and chain three, two, three, do two crochets into that double crochets into that first space because that's our first edge. Skip two single and do that all the way across. When you get to row three, you're going to single crochet first. Remember the chain one and then single. I'm going to leave the actual written pattern on my Facebook page. So if you are so inclined, you're welcome to pick it up there. And I'm going to end this video for now. I hope you have a great, great day. Please like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook at Create Love Arts. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.